Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Dan H, and welcome back to the project. Today is a beautiful Memorial Day weekend. Happy Memorial Day. Thank you to all the veterans. Thank you for all those who fought and died for this country. We got old glory waving in your honor. Um, again, such a beautiful day. Beautiful weekend for putting General Grievous back together. Yes, paint's all dried up. Uh, <laughs> it looks a little ridiculous with this two-tone color thing going on. Man, I would have blended a lot more had I known these colors were going to be so off. But that's it, man. That's it. So, not too bad. It'll have to do. Um, maybe one day I'll do it over. Who knows? I did find a little chip up in here. So, I might have to take off this Jeep logo. Where is it? There it is. Because it's just rusty and chipping under here. So that kind of sucks. Had I known that, I would have done this a lot differently. But then maybe I'll also fix this chip too. But either way, I'm really happy with how this came out. No more big crease. And no more uh, <laughs> drilled zip tie hole. So I'm really happy with how that came out. So now we get to put her back together. You can see all my parts. Laid out nice and neat, pour 15 ready to go. Beautiful header panel. So yeah, let's get this going. All right, before I start putting anything back together, I'm just gonna run all these threads that I can see with some anti-seize. Right, with the sway bar mounts here and everything everything that has a thread all right first thing I'm gonna install on this thing sway bar and links so I'm gonna put these on new end links and they kick inward that's the proper way to install them I got these on Amazon they're really cheap, um, they had great reviews, all five stars, so I went with it. Perfect size, they are an exact replacement. Hand tight that, put on the next one. Same thing for this side, they kick inwards towards the vehicle. All right, now onto the sway bar. I got these bushings online. They are 25 millimeter. These were the closest I could get that were just under 26 millimeter, which is what this is. So 26 millimeter sway bar, 25 and a half millimeter bushings, that's okay. You want them to be tight. You want them to be tight so you don't have any slop in your steering. So it's a good thing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lube these up with some non-petroleum based lube. So I'm gonna get my silicone spray, pop these on and while I'm doing that I'll show you how I measured this up hey right, guys my favorite method to measuring your sway bar diameter if you don't know it is take a piece of tape some masking tape preferably wrap it a few times around your sway bar and take your knife go ahead and make a nice even cut and let's peel off this tape There we go. Now this strip of tape is the circumference of your sway bar. And what you're gonna do is tape it onto a ruler and mark the end. So let's see, we are right here. And this is three and a quarter inches of circumference. All right, for the rest of this, I'm gonna jump over to the computer, and we all know that circumference equals pi times diameter. Remember, uh, cherry pie is delicious? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the calculator, punch in 3.25, we're gonna divide that by pi, which is 3.1415, so on and on, and what we get is 1.03 blah, 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 inches. So now we have a diameter, which is what we want, but it is in inches. So I'm just gonna slide over here, pop in my inches to millimeter conversion, and 
boom, 26 point something something millimeters. So that's why I got the sway bar bushings. That's just shy of 26 millimeters. Heavy duty silicone spray lubricant. All right, sliding on the sway bar. And I'm just gonna let it dangle like this for a minute while I do the other side. All right, great. Everything's on nice and loose. And I'm gonna install the bushings. Now the bushings, the opening goes towards the back. So, I'm gonna get these on. All right, get my bushings in. Slide on the mounts. Rock this up into place. Rum, rum. Keep that a little bit loose until I get the other side in. Nice. Sway bar mounts are in. Now I'm going to tighten up the end links. All right, going to tighten up the sway bar end links with an 18 millimeter and a T55. Just turning this nut, letting the tie rod support the torque side and you're gonna want to use a deep dish because it's a long bolt it sticks through the other end see that we're wrenching baby <laughs> finally put this thing back together it has been a long month but well worth it well worth it in the end Doing this thing real nice and clean. All right, got my 15 millimeter. I'm gonna get way up in here, tighten this one down. Nice and snug, hand tight. Cool, other side. Nice and snug. All right, <laughs> sway bar is in. Awesome. All right, next up is the lower radiator support. So we're gonna just pop in those little grommets that hold in the radiator and condenser. Slide them in. And what the heck, since I got it out, I'm gonna silicone spray these too. Reduce some squeaking or whatever. <laughs> Why not? All right, let's get this thing in. <laughs> Holding it up with my knee. One. Two. Nice. Rad support is in. Now we just need this little, uh, I guess it's a flange. A flange, if you will. How does this go? <laughs> this is what I need to let the bumper clip in. I think it only goes one way. Yes. It goes this way. All right. It's been so long, I almost forgot. Oh, and in case you didn't see, keep all my hardware nice and neat, all my fasteners, and these cardboard punches. After I tumble them, punch them in, 
paint them up. That way I don't lose them. And here they are. These are seven millimeter. Gotta get my socket. These are actually eight millimeter. In case you were wondering. <laughs> I was wrong by a whole millimeter. Sorry. <laughs> How did it go again? Cool. Next, we'll put on this uh, plastic um, skid plate. <laughs> That's plastic skid plate. Excellent. All right, we'll put that on. And again, get my fasteners. Now these were the big ones. So I bought replacement fasteners. Don't know if they're big enough. Hmm. Give them a shot. Oh, nice. So this thing kind of just slides with a couple teeth above and a couple teeth below the radiator support rack. And you don't even need fasteners. It's like magic. <laughs> but we'll put a couple in anyway. See? Some teeth above, some teeth below. Kind of just slides right in, and the fasteners. One and two, and two more on the other side. Plastic skid plate. What do you know? Next. All right, up top we are going to assemble our horn, horn bracketry. Um, this uh, was all from the salvage yard I picked up, and. Uh, yeah, cleaned it up real nice, painted her up, as usual. Even got uh, factory hardware for it, and a factory clip. Excuse me, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> now if you remember, when I was heating the bumper to pull it out, um, <laughs> melted low horn and it didn't work anyway from the accident so no loss but uh, at the junkyard I did get another low horn as you see here uh, but fortunately I bench tested it and it did sound rather weak uh, it took a lot of juice to make a sound out of it so I'm hoping you know with more continual use it'll loosen up inside and start to sound a little better a little brighter but um I don't know it might need replacing, so we'll see about that. But either way, it'll do for now. Just gonna reassemble this together. Kinda just loops in there. And gonna pop the screw right up from the bottom. We'll have our horns in. There we go. Cinch that in nice and tight in here. Clip is in and that tab is right where it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. We have horn, baby. Hi, Lo. Now let's put in uh, these cross braces. All right, just gonna slide this up from the back. The bottom, the bottom and the back. There we go, peekaboo. And I'm just gonna hand tighten them. And this goes right down in here. Right where we taped up the threads when we did the pour 15. Gotta protect the threads. That pour 15 will get you. <laughs> get you every time. All right, Let's grab my 15 millimeter. I'll tighten this one up. All right, just put on the driver's side support bracket, spare near the uh, footage of me doing the same thing twice oops now I'm gonna go on to the uh, golden arches ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> actually 
This is a great movie back in the 90s. It's Daniel Stern's in it. And uh, he's a fugitive from justice and he pretends to be a ranger scout leader. And uh, he gets stuck up in the mountains with a bunch of kids. But uh, it's a great scene where he, uh, he teaches them a song about golden arches. <laughs> you know what? Cut to the clip now. I got some bad news for you, Palmer. That ain't rain. Eat your veggies, eat your starches. Lean back, boys. Oh, Woo! All right. Bushwhacked. That's what it's called, bushwhacked. <laughs> Great movie. Good stuff. All right. Next. Next. <laughs> Next, we're gonna throw down our fog light wires and plug in the fog lights. And we gotta connect the horn wires too. Can't forget that. One and two. <laughs> hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Come here, Joe. Come here, Jojo. Hey, Jojo. Look at the camera. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Hi. Say how you doing. Can you wave? Say hi. Yeah. Say welcome. Hi. Say welcome to the project. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo. You hungry, Joe? All right. We'll take a time out. All right, guys. You heard the lady. Mama and kitties are hungry, and Mama's having a craving for Taco Bell. So we're gonna jump in this filthy Mustang, and we're gonna take a ride. And since it's a beautiful Memorial Day weekend, I'm gonna take you guys too. Hey, check it out. It's a plane telling a plane. <laughs> for tacos. Hey look, parachuters. These guys jump from Long Island Skydive right around the corner. Let's try to race them to the LZ. We're heading eastbound on Dawn Drive to the Brookhaven Airport. They usually land on the west side of runway 33. And here they come. That's awesome. All right, guys, no more messing around. Taco time. This Mustang is so filthy. I was hoping the wind would knock some of the pollen off. <laughs> oh, well. gonna catch you guys on the way back oh, holy smokes look at all this traffic I bet they're all southbound on the way to the beach can't blame them. Memorial Day weekend it's opening day look at all this Wow I will see you guys back at home. All right. So uh, we got our fog light mounting brackets. Now they go in here. They are side specific. So, uh, where's my hardware? Here it is. Got my hardware. Just gotta throw these on. Ain't no problems there. Sweet. Alright, 
ready for foggies. All right, these fog lights are extremely similar to the XJ fog lights. Uh, I think they are just a little more tapered here. The XJ fog lights are more squared out. Um, but yeah, they're basically the same. Take the same bulb, have the same exact plugs. You could probably put XJ fog lights on here if you wanted to. I don't know why you would. I don't know, maybe if you found them for cheap, cheap or free or what have you. But uh, this was a junkyard headlight. Um, I got a matching set now. This was the original one. This is a junkyard one. Uh, the junkyard fog lights that I pulled had two good bulbs and they were regular bulbs and I'm glad because I was about to put LED bulbs in here. Now the LED bulbs I have are cheap ones from China. I bought like a 10 pack for the XJ way back in the day. Um, the only problem with that is the polarity of those LEDs is off. So if I was going to use those, I'd have to clip these wires and solder the blue to the black and the black to the blue. And I didn't want to do that. So I'm glad the junkyard had a working set of bulbs. So I put the good bulbs and the good lenses and I even wet sanded these down. I went from 400 to 800 to 1000 to 2000 then 2500. And then I polished and waxed these glass lenses trying to get them nice and clear and bright again because they were pretty dingy I think I have pictures Let's see if I can pop them in and we shall get these on just gonna aim them straight up and down Should always come back and adjust them later I'm just gonna plug them in. Awesome. All right, guys, header panel. This is what's gonna make this thing look like a Jeep again. <laughs> and we're putting it on now. First thing I'm gonna do is plug in the harness for the parking lights. I'm just gonna slide it up from the bottom so all these little tabs line up. Oh yeah man, that's it. That is it. And right away I'm gonna hit this 10 millimeter fastener in so it doesn't fall out. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start sliding in my ream of fasteners. Here are the two tabs that I retrofitted from the broken header panel. All right, that one didn't snap off. So far, so good. And. Nice. All right, it worked. <laughs> and the last two from the bottom. All right, guys. Man, this is looking so good. It actually looks like a Jeep again. Heck yeah. I'm stoked. All right. <laughs> Gonna plug in my ambient air sensor and gonna plug in the headlights. All right, gonna pop on this trim. Got a couple new fasteners for this thing, too. Nice. <laughs> All right, General. Now I'm excited. One more part. 
Here's that special part that I couldn't tell you what it was when I told you that I couldn't tell you what it was. <laughs> Without further ado, let me bring it out. Ta-da! <laughs> OEM Factory ZJ tow hooks. Now this is going to bolt right in to where the damage was on that side. And this is going to validate... <laughs> it's going to validate my bodywork job, my frame straightening. So if this goes in nice and neat, then I'll know this is exactly where it should be. So, <laughs> let's do it. Moment of truth right here. Ah, there's that hardware that I was talking about before. Alright, let's put them in. It's like one giant set of flag nuts. That's cool. This bracket goes in here. And we put our bolts right on through. That's awesome. This side is in. Let me show you. All right, check that out inside. It's pretty good. <laughs> These brackets actually curve right around the damaged part. <laughs> Couldn't ask for a better fit. This is great. Just great. Fits awesome. I had to drop the horns <laughs> to get to these, but that's wonderful. Can't even tell it was smashed. That makes me feel great. Feel great about the Grievous. <laughs> awesome. <Oops. laughs> All right, here we go, guys. The moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> All right, I got this foam and the new bumper from the old one, and I'm gonna slide this on. Hopefully it clips into place. Onto tow hooks. I'm trying to line up these holes. Let's see if it works. Stay on you. There we go. And a three on the bottom. One. Two. And three. One, two, and three. Okay, I'm okay. One, two, three. This side. This side's definitely missing some right here. So. Let's see if we can push one up here somewhere. And the last piece <laughs> is gonna be the original grill. It is missing these two tabs, but the thing's not cracked up and it's still pretty decent. I'm not ready to put a painted one on yet. So, we're getting this. <laughs> there we go guys 
The general's back. All right. There he is. General Grievous ZJ. All back together. <laughs> He's looking awesome. Not bad at all. Except for a little <laughs> mismatched paint. <laughs> the bumper's gold. The hood is more silver. And then the original paint, well, <laughs> somewhere in the middle. But we'll, uh, we'll take a look at it more in the daytime tomorrow. Fantastic. All back together. With a little bit of extra pieces. <laughs> Toe hooks. I love it. Really happy with the way it came out. Alright guys, that's it for my General Grievous reassembly video. I'm so happy with the way it came out. It looks really, really good. The headlights are great. The header panel's perfect. Uh, got the bumper painted. It doesn't exactly match the hood <laughs> in both spots, but it's all good, man. It's much better than it was before. Um, proud of the spill. It took a little longer than I wanted, but I made sure everything was cleaned up just right. And that's just how I do it. Um, so have a happy and safe Memorial Day. Uh, by the time I edit it and post it, it'll probably be closer to 4th of July. So happy 4th. Um, that's it. Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, God bless America. And I'll see you guys on the next project.